Greetings, ULM. I'm Trey Hall. And I'm Joe Lewis. And you are now tuned in to The Hawkeye Live, the number one place on the web for ULM news. Our first story focuses on physical fitness taking priority at ULM. Center shows push-ups, sit-ups, and many other exercises. I like to run mostly. Um, I run five days a week. Uh, push-ups, sit-ups, just body weight stuff. I really don't lift a lot of weights. So. I like to keep it simple and fun and like to do different different types of running every every day to you know give me something new. I mean I, I enjoy it now like I did when I first started but now it's just kind of a break from the day so So the spring meltdown is based off of how much you work out and what you're eating. It's a competition that you can either do individually or as a group. And, and everyone pays $5 to register. And at the end, whoever wins based on how much they've worked out and how healthy they've eaten, everything's a lot of a certain amount of points. And whoever has the most points wins the money, first, second, and third place or places. The competition is currently in full swing. For more information on ULM Spring Meltdown, contact Dusty Mortis. In other news, ULM students are concerned about another issue, poor cell phone reception on campus. For more information on that story, we send you to our field reporter, Anna Shelby. Cell phone reception at ULM has been an ongoing problem, but many students have mixed reviews about it. This rider is AT&T. I normally don't have problems at home, but here at school it's awful and kind of having to hold my phone like this and walk around like this just trying to get one message out. It sucks. Every time I come to campus there's always problems. It's always searching or having trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi and like it's just terrible. It out of the students we interviewed, only one had something nice to say. My cell phone provider is Verizon. I have excellent service on campus. Um, my network is set up in Shreveport, but even in the Monroe area, I have great service. I have 3G coverage, um, Wi-Fi on my phone. I never have a drop call. I never have any problems or issues, and my service is always I really hope that gets resolved, Joe. I can see how that can pose a major issue on our campus. I definitely agree. Our final story. Last week, the School of Visual and Performing Arts Division of Theater and Dance presented the first production of the semester, Extremities. Director Kyle Zimmerman gives us the inside scoop. Uh, every, every spring semester, we try to do a play that deals with violence, um, specifically violence against women. And uh, this is a play that I, I've known about for a long time. It actually premiered on Broadway at Fair Fawcett. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have done uh, the vagina monologues for the last two years, and we decided to take a break from that and do it every other year rather than trying to do it every year. So uh, this seemed to kind of fit that slot. It also works real well with speakers. We, uh, ha we've had several speakers from different departments like uh, social work, sociology, and the Social Science Research Center uh, come and actually come and uh, help us spread message about violence, violence prevention. There, there's really, really two goals that I would have. The first is, uh, you always hear people talk about violence, like, oh, well, if somebody tried to attack me, I'd do this or I'd do that. Any violence that you perpetrate is going to, uh, you're going to court, like they say in this play. You're going to court. Mm -hmm. If you pull a gun on somebody, if somebody punches you and pu you punch them back, it may be self-defense, but you're still going to court. Also, um, there's a, there's a human toll that violence takes on you when you act, when you hit somebody when you or when you lay hands on somebody when you hurt somebody with a weapon uh, you it's going to change your life even if you were justified in doing it and that's one the play is centered around a young woman who was attacked in her home by a potential rapist Zimmerman hopes to raise awareness about violence against women and violence prevention for more information on preventing violence in your community, please visit www.livethegreendot.com. That's it for this edition of the Hawkeye Live. Don't forget to pick up your weekly copy of the Hawkeye newspaper. I'm Trey Hall. And I'm Joe Lewis. Until next time.
What do y'all think? 